With four games remaining on our schedule, we still remain behind Florida State for a chance to represent our side of the ACC in the ACC Championship. We're working our way back up in the Heisman voting, and currently we are on pace to three-peat with a clean sweep of every single defensive award, as well as the Jet. And when it comes to the college football rankings, we are currently on the outside looking in as the number seven team in the nation. Miami is in front of us, but luckily for us, we still have them ahead on the schedule. But we cannot get ahead of ourselves, boys. We have to take care of who's in front of us for the last four games of the season, starting here at home versus Boston College. Now, Boston College is forever going to be the team that we caught six interceptions against, and we had that pretty much Heisman moment. But here they're having a lot better of a season, 7-2, and two, as we get our first tackle of the season there. And our first punt return, 7-0, already up. We got to make the punter miss. We got to block up front, go to the races, 15-10-5, touchdown Tyler Hawkins, 77-yard punt return. This kid is looking to have a clean sweep on every single award, including the Jet. Now in the first and 10, they're going to run a Jet sweep. TH2 is there to make the tackle. We get a big-time stop. They don't get a gain. Second and 10, they're going to run a counter. He breaks the tackle. Who else is there to make the play? Number four, Tyler Hawkins Jr. You already know him and the guys are really into this, and we want to really put a hurt on his Boston College team. Now, here we are back in coverage. We get a big-time sack, second and two. Up 21 nothing. They run the screen, and we get the big-time interception. We break the tackle. The quarterback's not going to catch us, and we score our second touchdown of the day. That's going to be turnover number one. Now, here's quarterback back to pass once again, surveying, surveying. He has all day to throw. We get caught being nosy, and our cornerback gets bombed. Now, I can't blame him. He definitely thought he was going to have safety help. Now, in the first and 10, we're trying to look to stop the run, and we look absolutely foolish, picking up turf out of our face mask. And on the very next play, we actually ducked the smoke of the lead blocker, and we gave up six. But on the next play, we're not going to duck the smoke. We're going to get a big TFL there as we meet the running back in the backfield, and that ball is nearly picked off by one of our DBs. Third and 10, up 31-0. They're going to go with the screen. We stuff that one out, and we get interception number two, and we're going to take that back to the crib for touchdown number two. A little bit of taunting out here, and the ref is not going Want to throw the flag for the late hit because if he did it, we have to throw the flag for unsportsmanlike conduct, so we're just going to let bygones be bygones. Now here on first and 10, quarterback goes drop back to pass. 12-yard pickup, but we do lay the boom. And we read and stuffed out that screen there, but we get blocked, but we will get a big TFL there. We get beat in our zone. Now second and two, Boston College back. They're putting together a little bit of a drive, and they're going to bomb away, and we are going to get mossed in the end zone as they are going to be able to complete that pass. On third and inches, we get a big tackle. Take a look at our day in the first half. Six tackles, two picks, four for loss, and on another punt return, we want to try to punch it into the end zone once again. We're running out of room. we got to try to get to the inside, but we, will, we won't be able to score, but we will be able to get across the 50, but we fumble on that play. So to make up for the fumble, we almost get a chance right here to make up for it immediately and get the pick, but we get a big time tackle for Lawson on third and 15. They go with the screen once again. We get another TFL and we're going to force another punt. Now here on our next drive, first and 10, quarterback's back to pass. We lay the boom. I don't know how he was able to hold on to that ball, but he does. Carrying the defense like we usually do, boys, we have to come all the way from the other side of the field to make a big time tackle there to stop them from picking up the first down. Now we're setting up the blocks here on the punt return. We make one miss. We got the corner. We make two more miss. They run into each other. We just got the punter to beat. We get inside. We almost get tackled from behind. They're not going to catch this and Tyler Hawkins Jr. with his fourth touchdown on the day with an 81-yard punt return. And we're going to celebrate this win, boys. It was a big-time win. 11 tackles, 7 for loss, 2 interceptions, 2 pick sixes, 2 punt return touchdowns, 3,300 XP earned. What an amazing day for your junior strong safety. But now we got a big-time game here in Coral Gables taking on the number three Miami Hurricanes. We're now up to number five. Both teams are 8-1 and one. on the very first play. They're going to try to run some type of wildcat there, man. We snuff it out. That's our first bit of contact of the day, and we feel good, man. We're carrying over the momentum for the Boston College game. Here still a 0-0 score, 3-15. TVD, Tyler Van Dyke has all day to throw, and we're trying to t help all of our guys. The cutback cheese is coming. We get a big hit, but it's only so long we're going to be able to cover before eventually somebody's going to get open. And right there, reminding other people's business not in our zone, we give up six. Down seven, nothing here. Offense unable to score. TVD tries to get loose there. We get a tackle after he picks up six. He's back to pass all day once again. He's going to take a shot deep, but this time we will make him pay as we come down with an interception to give our offense back the ball. We make a big block there, and that's going to spring us for quite a few more yards. That's Miami's first turnover of the day. First and 10, 7 of a ball game. Offense was able to score. We get a big time hit. Second and 12, they're going to hand the ball off. We don't get a tackle, but we in, we are in on the mix. We're always going to be around the ball. Not playing our zone here. We get a little bit bailed out as they're going to step out of bounds. They don't pick up the first. Second and 4 here. Neither team was able to score uh, early in the second quarter. We're going to get a big 
time tackle. We get a good read on the read option. Here we get a sack on the screen. We're going to force another punt. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right here right now, as we make a big hit there, we were a non-factor in the punt return game. Miami had the punt return game on smash. It was nothing we could do. But as you see here, man, we are wrecking havoc all over the place in the backfield, meeting running backs and, and players at the line of scrimmage, eight tackles, four tackles for loss in the second half, another big-time first half once again. I meant to say the second quarter, not the second half. But here on the first half, Miami trying to drive a little bit there. He breaks the tackle, 18-yard pickup. We eventually make the tackle. And right here, our guy, number 23, gets beat. Bryce can't get there to make the tackle. And that was one of the easiest touchdowns Miami has probably scored all day. They continue to try to run this wildcat formation. We're going to snuff it every time our guy goes in motion. We're going to blitz. Back to pass Tyler Van Dyke, third and long. They go up top to number 23 again. This time he makes a play on the ball. Way to come back. We get a tackle here on the wide receiver screen here in the third quarter to run the speed option. We're there to make a play on the running back. He goes to stiff arm us, but we still make a good, solid, sound tackle. Second and four. We try to bake that up. We get back, but we play through the ball. And we're able to knock that loose and we get a big time stop here we're going to hold Miami to three but our offense goes down against the six we're up four here 21 17 we shed that block we get in there and we make that tackle here on the second and ten they're going to run the ball the other way you see the running back try to put the wiggles on us but we weren't going that's going to take us to the fourth quarter boys 21 17 and it's going to be one hell of a fourth quarter first and ten TVD back to pass once again we're a little bit late there but we do make the tackle under seven minutes 6 28 left in the ball game Tyler Van Dyke goes underneath we don't make a play on the ball but we make a tackle that's going to bring up a third or four or six minutes left here, man. We got to get a stop. I don't like this unbalanced uh, numbers we have here. And we're going to jump that pass. We're going to catch the pick. We're going to make a man miss with a spin. We got one to beat. He can't catch his 10-5. Touchdown, TH2 in this Clemson defense, boys. That is probably the biggest interception in my whole entire career here at Clemson with Tyler Hawkins Jr. Way to read that play. Tyler Van Dyke thought he could, he could sneak it in there, but the spin was the icing on the cake as we were able to punch that into the end zone, and we got ourselves a 10-point lead. Now up 11 after the extra point. Miami putting together a little bit of a drive. We tripped there trying to make a tackle, and that's going to be a big-time pickup for Miami. TVD is going to go ahead and pitch the ball. We try to make a tackle on the running back. We bring him down, but he does pick up three. Miami's not going to lay down and die. They're the number three team in the nation for a reason. They were number two earlier in the year, and we get a little bit too hype coming down. You know, going after the play that wasn't the first down, we jump it, we get played on the next play, we give up six, and here they are going for the two-point for conversion to be down three if they do convert. We got man coverage here. We're locking up. TVD is going to find a man wide open in the back of the end zone, and our offense is going to save us going down scoring. And on the last play from scrimmage, we go to blitz fourth and goal. TVD is going to throw a pick, and that's going to seal it as we get a big-time top three win here in Miami, man. This was a big game for us. What a play by TH2. 20 tackles, six for loss. Loss, one interception. You can't tell me that this kid is not the best safety in all of college football, and he has been since he stepped on campus. Now, we leave the beach, and we're here in a blizzard as we visit NC State as the number three team in the nation, boys. This is a rivalry game. We got to get a win as we get a tackle here late in the first quarter. Here on our first pump return, we break a tackle, and this is usually something special once we do that. Can we get the corner? We got three guys chasing us. We do get one. We got to try to cut inside with the punter, and we're going to get tackled from behind, but that is going to set up a touchdown for this Clemson offense. They go to the flats. He breaks the tackle. TH2 is there to make the tackle. They do pick up six. Now here's 7-0 at NC State. We blitz instead of playing our zone, and that one is going to be picked off as we put pressure on the QB boys. I like what I'm seeing out of the team. Now here's another handoff. They do pick, They nearly pick up the first down, but they will later pick up the first down to drive. Now here we get absolutely beat on the play action rollout, but we're able to come downhill to make a tackle as they pick up three. Second and seven, they go ahead and hand the ball off. We're going to pick up where our teammate left off and make the tackle. They pick up five. Third and short on the third and two. We get killed on our route, but the quarterback was able to pick his poison as he has another wide open receiver. Here on the first and goal, we missed the tackle. Is he going to be able to punch it in? He is not. Our teammate's going to make the tackle. He's going to stuff him short. But all good things must come to an end as they score in the very next play. Our offense goes down and gets to six more. We're up 14-7. We got to make an open field tackle. We were the last line of the Defense for a long time. Now here on the third or four, we thought we blew this play up. We get blocked. The quarterback, Ben Finley, is going to pick up 18 yards on the run. Now first and 10, they're going to run the ball to the outside. Once again, we get a big-time tackle on the sideline, but another first down. First and 10 again for NC State. We're going to lay the boom on the quarterback, but he does not feel it. He holds on to the rock. Third and four, we need to stop. They get a first down, and we lay another boom. But once when we play discipline, boys, 
we don't make the tackles we need as we almost uh, don't make a big-time tackle there. That's why we're always trying to help out our teammates. But NC State punches it in, 14-14, wide receiver screen. They're going to pick up yet another first down, and we're going to get yet another tackle. This time they're going to go to the flats. I just want to make sure we make a short tackle. But we miss it, and we nearly give up the first down there. They do eventually pick up the first down. First and 10, they're going to run the counter. We're absolutely blocked out of the play. They're up, they're up three, so we need to stop here late in the fourth quarter so our offense can get the rock. We get absolutely killed on that route, but shout-out to McCoy. Cuba being there to make a play for your boy. Second and four, we get a big sack up 21-17. That is probably our biggest tackle of today's game, man. Third and nine, and we're going to get a sack once again. And you would think the game would be over, but as usual, our offense gives their offense our offense gives their offense a chance to score once again. And NC State is going to put together a little bit of a drive. And we're going to play pretty disciplined here. We don't want to be the reason why we why we lose. We are known to give up a uh, you know a game with a touchdown here and there. Beautiful pass by Ben Finley, though. I'm not going to lie. And we're being nosy once again. We go for the strip because we gave up a pass in our zone. Now 38 seconds left here. Down seven NC State with a beautiful pass but Wiggins is there to knock it loose third and ten 35 seconds left Finley back the pass surveying the field he's going to take a shot he's going to overshoot his receiver now boys fourth and ten this is for the ball game and they go with a wide receiver screen and that one is snuffed out that's going to be the ball game as we make the tackle and we get a big time win once again we beat NC State here in this rivalry game our crowd is hyped they know this game is bigger than the rivalry game itself we got a chance to play for a natty and we have 12 tackles one for loss and one sack not the craziest of games but here we are for our last game of the season this could be our last installment in the South Carolina Clemson Dynasty, and historically, boys, we have made our mark on all three, well, all two games we played in so far. Looking to make our mark here in game number three as we get two early tackles, third and nine. He goes to the flats. We're going to give him up that. And here we are in the punt return, boys. We're setting our blocks up. This 99 speed has been a blessing in disguise. We get a big time block right there. We got three guys in front. The punter gets blocked. 2015, 10-5, touchdown TH2 in this Clemson offense, boys. That's not, things are not going to stop there. Third and seven. We're going to jump this route. Big time pick. Nobody in front of us is going to stop us, and we're going to score our team teams first six first 12 points just like that i feel like we should got an animation there ea did what ea does he nearly pulls in a one hit grab y'all know this game likes to hoe us man but we're going to move on to the next play and our guy wiggins is going to come up with a big time pick in the slot can he take this one back to the crib he gets tripped up but it will set up our offensive score picking up late in the second quarter up 27 nothing and we get a big time pick on the out route and we're going to easily walk that one into the end zone boys and we're up 33 nothing here now in this game boys we now we we, we submitted ourselves as we made that tackle, but it's not going to be one of the craziest games of the episodes, actually. You know, as we had thought we had pick number three there, but the receiver actually worked his way back to the ball. We should have caught this pick here, but we're too busy trying to put a hit on the receiver. Second and two, 34 nothing. We just want to keep this shutout intact. That's the main reason why Coach has the starters out there as we get credited with that tackle after after the slide. Quarterback play action. He's going to take a shot. Not really. He goes underneath and bad spot as they get the first down there and we get absolutely bitched by Marshawn, Lin Marshawn Lloyd as he absolutely disrespects us but we get another pick here damn near in our own red zone definitely in plus territory four turnovers here today first and ten quarterback surveying looking for somewhere to go we miss another tackle on the damn quarterback and you know what I mean uh, we, we got to be better than that they're picking up in the fourth quarter, first play from scrimmage, 48 nothing. That's another b ball we should have made a play on. We get a tackle here being a second late once again. Third and four, he's going to take a shot in the end zone. That one is knocked loose. We got one more opportunity here. Fourth and four, they do pick up the first down, and it's not looking good for that shutout as we lose it there on the scramble. But Coach takes the starters out after that, and we win another South Carolina Clemson matchup, boys. Take a look at the crowd. They know with this win – we did everything we could do to get into the ACC championship. To this point, I have yet to check on Florida State and their record, but it's good to see your rival absolutely, you know, just just sit in their sorrow. TH2 is going to get player of the game, six tackles, tackle, uh, six tackles, tackle for loss, two interceptions, two pick sixes, might I add. Also ran a punt return back, and here we are in real time simulating, finding out if we're going to make it into the ACC championship game. Conference championship week, we haven't been here in the first two seasons, but here in season number three, boys, we're going to get it done and we get a rematch versus the Miami Hurricanes and we got a chance to get a Heisman moment here. First the Hurricanes were second in the Heisman watch list and the bum SU Seminoles end up dropping two games in the ACC so that's how we were able to walk into the ACC championship. They lost to Boston College and they also lost to Syracuse and this is the game that we need to make it to the natty where we fold under pressure 
or get the job done. Hey. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no properly. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the fuck out your feelings. Drop my son off to school in the morning. After that, I headed straight to the bank.